All right, you guys. Hey, welcome back. This is another lesson. Mr. Bo, we're going to make some lemonade. We're going to do lemonade and tea tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually going to do a lemon and limeade. Um, what we got is some fresh, fresh lemons and fresh limes. And then I've got some pre-made mix of lemonade that I'm going to pour into these big containers over here. I'm going to show you real fast how to cut down um, some wheels and make your presentation look a little bit better. So check it out. Limes and lemons are about the same. Um, very easy. Just cut your ends off. Remember, hold the knife, own it. Put your hands wrap around the handle. Thumb on the blade. We're just gonna make some wheels to throw in here to give it a, a fresh, give it a fresh lemon and lime flavor. We've got three lemons and four limes. And I'll just separate them evenly in between the two containers. I'm actually going to sweeten this up a little bit more than it, than it is because I'm sure, well, of course, you know, lemonade is very tart. So we don't want it too tart. We want to add a little sweetness. So my knife needs sharpening, obviously. Look at that. It's terrible. Grab this knife. Oh, much better. You guys, remember, you need to sharpen your knife. A dull knife is what gets people cut. Always tuck your fingers when you're cutting. I advise you guys to try and practice at home uh, with your parents' supervision and permission. I don't want you guys cutting yourself and having to go to the emergency room. Because I was the king of cutting my own fingers, and all my Mexican friends at the half shell used to make fun of me. So, you don't want to be that person. It's kind of embarrassing. And I don't want you guys to get hurt. So, be very careful and respectful when you're using a knife. Always, like I said, tuck, tuck, tuck your fingers. I'm really excited about tomorrow. It's a big catering. It's kind of my first big deal here. I've cooked for the teachers one day. Very small um, opening for the Panthers deer at Finn. And, um, I'm very excited to see the reaction, to see how people enjoy the food. And I've got a couple of volunteers. If you guys want to get involved, I really, really hope you guys want to get involved because um, it's just a great opportunity, especially after school, if you guys want to come by and bake or clean up. Most of the time it's clean up because it's a lot to do in this kitchen and keep up with the classroom. You guys know that. We only have 45 minutes together, like I said, so it's great to be able to have you guys come by sometimes in the afternoon and cook and um, help with the cleaning of the kitchen. It's really what keeps this machine going. And um, you're always welcome. All right, so put the limes in there. Cut my lemons up. See how nice these wheels look? It looks great. Very easy. And on this last lemon, I want to show you guys a cut, a knife cut for all citrus. You can do this with all citrus fruits. It's called a Supreme. Um, it's a very simple cut, but um, what makes it so amazing is that the presentation factor. When you're doing a salad, say you got a uh, roasted beet and Roasted beet, oop, we went down there. So you got like a roasted beet and arugula salad and you want to do some blood oranges or some grapefruits or some kind of citrus. You're just going to cut the ends off the, the lemon or lime or whatever citrus fruit is. Cut your ends off here and here. And you're just going to work around the, the lemon. Let me move this right now. You're just gonna work around the lemon or whatever citrus fruit is, and you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna turn it. Kind of want to go at a curved cut. You're gonna cut off the skin like that. You want to get all the white off. It's called the, I believe it's called the pith. And you can save your lemon pills and um, or whatever citrus pills you got and make a citrus sugar. Um, it would go great on. You know, sprinkle on fruit or put in a vinaigrette or 
whatever the case may be. So don't be afraid to save your citrus pills. They're great. Um, and they actually, you can take your citrus pills, or especially lemon and lime, and you can dry them and use them as citric acid. Um, so this is a very cool little trick. I'm just peeling off all the white. You sound like Bob Ross. You older folks will know what that, who that guy is. Or you're just getting all of the white off, pretty much. Go ahead and finish it up. I need a smaller knife. I don't have my parent knife right on me, which I should. I didn't plan on showing this. It just kind of popped in my head when I was doing the cooking. It's a great little technique. So we've got our lemon. Look, took it out. We've got pretty much all the white. You can see the little stripes in it. That's where the that's the stripes in between each um, slice of lemon. Um, that's going to be our supreme cut. So get this off the cutting board. Get my trash can handy. So what you're going to do? Since I don't have my paring knife, I've got my fillet knife here. This works great. It's a good utility tool. You know, it's very very stiff. Great for um, filleting chicken if you want to do fish or cut down steaks or whatever. It's a great tool. Alright, so our Supreme Cut. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to make, see our white stripe right here? I'm going to make a incision on one side of the white stripe and then I'm going to go across the fillet of, of lemon. So I made my incision here and then I'm going to move over here. Move my knife to this side make another incision. What you come out with is called the Supreme. And that's the knife cut I wanted to show you guys. It's a little bitty pith free piece of lemon. And you can just go around the whole lemon. Once you can make that initial cut, you still go on the other side of that and make the cut. And you get your Supremes. Like I said, the presentation factor on this, especially with the bigger citrus, it isn't so great on a, on a, line, a lemon or a lime because it's so small, it's such a small cut. But like when you get an orange, and it's a lot bigger. It's probably like, probably about that big. It looks great on a salad or in a fruit salad. You might've seen this at, a, at the grocery store at a party where they have a fruit salad and they've done the Supremes. This is a, a um, French cut and it's very simple. Like I said, I'm just gonna run around get all the Supremes out just because I started it. But don't throw away. Once you get all the Supremes out of here, don't throw this piece away. Squeeze it out and get all the extra juice out of there. Since we're making lemonade, might as well save all that flavor and all that juice. You want to use as much as you can. It's about 6 o'clock. School got out at to been up here cooking for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in here. Wear it thin. Probably gonna finish this chicken up and uh, get on out of here. We got a big day tomorrow with catering. And those Supremes are awesome. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? I'm gonna go ahead and throw them and split them up between my two. Now we're ready for my hands clean. And don't forget guys, always have your sanitizer bucket handy your, with either sanitizer water or just a look, just a very small amount of bleach, very small. 100 to 1 is the ratio, 100, 100 um, parts water and one part bleach, it's very diluted bleach. Um, I'm going to get the lemonade and then we're going to pour this stuff up and get ready for tomorrow, alright? I'll see y'all next time.